Hey there, just wanted to drop a quick little math review video in here. Um, we've gotten to the point in the course where we're going to be using logarithms a fair bit for a number of different things. And uh, you know, logarithms aren't really necessarily difficult, but if you haven't used them in a while, uh, there are a few little logarithm tricks that you might want to review. So let's take a look and see what logarithm tricks we can refresh ourselves on. So first of all, um, natural logs and common logs are you know, follow all the same rules. Uh, they've got different bases. That's you know, that's really about the only difference. So if I've got a natural log, whoops, let me turn that to black. If I've got natural log of x, um, you know, really, what is a logarithm? A logarithm is the exponent on some base that gets us a value that we're looking at. So the difference between a natural log and a common log, natural logs are base e. And e is 2.7, it's some constant. Um, yeah, let me, you can find it on your calculator, right? So uh, 2.71828, it keeps going. Um, not really an important number for you to, to necessarily know, but not a bad number to keep sort of in your mind as just sort of a scale of, of what we're talking about. Common logs, our base 10. So that's really the only difference between a natural log and a common log. A natural log uses 2.718281828 um, as its base. Common log uses 10 as its base. So what does that mean? Well, that means that if we're looking at inverse, if we're looking at getting rid of a logarithm term, let's look at the inverses. So um, natural log of e to the x is equal to x. And similarly, e to the natural log of x is x. Same thing in common log in, in LOG base 10 log. So log of 10 to the x is equal to x and 10 to the log x is also equal to x. So that's how we invert those. If you've got a log, you want to get rid of it, uh, use its base in one direction or another. The reason logs are useful, the reason logs help us with a lot of things is because of some of the other tricks that we can uh, that we can play. So um, for example, if I've got um, x raised to the y power is equal to z. How do I figure out that y? How do I get that y? out of the exponent. There are ways to do it, but some of the ways to do it uh, can get a little can get a little cumbersome. But here we've got a log relationship that'll help us take care of that. So um, I'll use uh, I'll use natural log just because it's easier for me to write. A relationship for us to remember is log of a raised to the b is equal to b times log a. So here's one of the probably most common ways for us to just use logarithms as a tool. Logarithm lets us pull, um, lets us pull an exponent out uh, to the front. So it gives us a way to solve for an exponent. 
So going back up to that problem, we could say that, um, here, let me put that in a box. If we follow this problem down, uh, natural log of x to the y is equal to natural log of z. I just took the natural log of both sides. And y is equal to, whoops, doing too many steps at the same time. y times natural log of x is equal to natural log of z. Well, now I've gotten my x out, right? I've gotten my exponent out of the exponent, essentially. So I can come in here and now y is equal to natural log of z divided by natural log of x. So there's a useful relationship. What about some other relationships? Um, let me use green for all those relationships. Um, natural log of A times B. So natural logs also give us a way of separating, uh, separating multiplication. So natural log of A times B is equal to natural log of A plus natural log of B. And another version of that, natural log of A over B is equal to natural log of A minus natural log of B. So those are logarithms. Those are the couple, uh, couple little helpers. Um, We can look at identity. We can look at identity or inverse functions uh, of logarithms. We can look at exponents in logarithms. And we can look at um, separating terms. And that's really how uh, we're going to use these for the most part. As a as a little bit of a, a little bit of an application, since I just see it sitting right there, uh, what about um, what about something like a rate law expression where you, know, you get to 3.52 is equal to uh, 0.731 times uh, 2.8 raised to the x, right? Using real numbers, how do we solve for x? Well, let's go through some of our steps here. I've got a variable in an exponent. So I'm going to want to do a log somewhere. Let's just go ahead and take the log right away. So uh, natural log of both sides, natural log of 3.52 is equal to natural log of 0 0.731 times 2.8 to the x. Well, I know that the natural log of a, of a product like this, let me rewrite that again, natural log of 3.52 is equal to, I can separate these um, by uh, splitting them out and adding them together. So natural log of 0 0.731 plus natural log of 2.8 raised to the x. Now, 
before I go any further, a, an important thing to, you know, to just get locked into your head, that is just a number, right? You know, that I can evaluate anytime I want, right? Pull up my cheapy little calculator and you know, I can evaluate that. And it just so happens that that is um, 1.25846. There are a bunch of others, but that's an important key. Just because you're taking the logarithm of a number doesn't make it into something weird or different. It just changes the value of the number. So once I've got something to this stage where I've just got log of a number, that's just a number. So that part is solved. All right, let's see what else we need to do. I can expand this out. Um, let me move a few things around and expand them at the same time. So natural log of 3.52, I'm gonna move this term over minus natural log of 0.731 is equal to, and let me pull that exponent out, x times natural log of 2.8. And now we're pretty much done, right? So natural log of 3.52, minus natural log of 0.731 divided by natural log of 2.8 is equal to x. And at that point, we can just plug things in and evaluate them. If you really want to, you can go ahead and put those back together right? Collapse it back down. Um, you know, use those relationships to collapse that big term back down a little bit. But again, it's just a number. So we don't have to really worry about that. All right. So that was just a quick little example of uh, logarithms and using logarithms. Um, hopefully that helps. And we will get back to things soon.